this toilet is like using all the all the waste. Yeah. But in a way that's like comfortable. Yeah. Like so it won't be like a disgusting yeah. toilet. It will yeah. be a nice toilet experience. And nobody needs to do the shitty but job. But nobody afterwards. needs to yeah. do the shitty job yeah. and it won't smell inside and yeah. it will feel nice. I hope it will be like the perfect yeah. toilet. The nicest toilet yeah. ever. That looks very nice. Super. Nice. Very good. So you're building a house. <laughs> you want to share what this is? Yeah, yeah, of course. So here's our composting toilet. And first we wanted to go with a system where the classical system um, where you like have a bucket, have a liquid uh, container and so on, where everything pours in and then you have to go grab that put it out, clean it and so on. Uh -huh. And of course, like this is something like nobody wants to do. Like this is the shittiest, <laughs> shittiest work of all. That's why we decided to go um, last minute with a, with a more permanent um, option yeah. where the liquids are going through a one, one and a half inch pipe directly into there, what looks right now really messy, but this is a banana pit system. So there's a hole one and a half, m half um, meters in diameter and one meter deep. And there goes all the all the green cut, like mm -hmm. all the leaves, everything that that's cu cut by gardening and so on. Mm -hmm. And it like it, it organically um, reduces itself like um, like pretty fast. Uh -huh. And so you have always have to put put um, new yeah, like material. trash and so on yeah, yeah. on it, organic uh, waste. Yeah. yeah. And um, then you plant around papayas, bananas, and so on. And they are like really happy trees. So they will uh, produce really really nice. Fruits so directly the liquids, around. The liquids are going in there as a fertilizer liquids. for the for yeah. the fruit trees. Yeah, from so the from the toilet mixed with a lot of water from the um, mm -hmm. from the wash basin and from the shower, which mm -hmm. will all be organic, like no no uh, chemicals in it yeah. and so on. Um, but yeah. even if there would be, like they would filter it perfectly. Yeah, at least that's what I can tell it. But we will not. Do but that. we will not do it. We will check every bag for of every yeah, person yeah. that is that mm -hmm. is arriving here. <laughs> Black test. <laughs> And um, for the solid, um, there will be down connected a big pipe, like first like a catchment system, then a big pipe that's going like with a four 45 degree angle and mm -hmm. a flap, so mm -hmm. the, no smell um, can come out. So it's flap, mm -hmm. um, s falling straight into there. Mm -hmm. And in there, like there are worms um, and um, sawdust and stuff like this. And they will, um, they will digest everything. Mm -hmm. And then it moves slowly by slowly into the second chamber. And in the front of the second chamber, where there is no door right now, we maybe have to fix that. Mm -hmm. um, there should be a small door, and then you From go the big in. One to the small one. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then you go in um, when the compost is ready with the shovel and use it as fertilizer. Mm -hmm. So this is like. And then you just put it where you want to grow. Right. Nice tomatoes or right. whatever. Yeah, Perfect. that's it. Perfect. Love this. And they are building this by clay and what are the bricks uh parastone you know what it is what is um honestly not really like but but chaka told me it's like an organic like a natural stone oh, and it's a really soft master. stone you see like everywhere like br breaking a bit yeah um so it's like the most the most sustainable version we can do mm -hmm. like instead of bricks and cement mm -hmm. um, which is normally used we yeah. go by um parastone and clay clay super nice covered um, like this is the only thing like you have to cover it by geo membrane like um, mm -hmm. it's a, s a special plastic but just in this piece you mm -hmm. have to cover it cover it one time so, so, no rain so it gets in. no it's uh, yes but especially like um, so it's a black heat. black one and it keeps heat. the heat yeah like and it heats up this will be our sauna huh? <laughs> for the warms, yeah. warm sauna <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you put like um, it will be covered by we don't know yet bamboo wood whatever mm -hmm. so it looks nice growing some plants around and it's perfect and what's really important is the drainage system around because this needs to stay as dry as possible mm -hmm. yeah otherwise you it will it won't, won't work yeah. properly yeah. 
so it needs to be drained. Perfect. So that means there will be no regular flush water-based toilet, but instead we're gonna not, as I already uh, shared like two episodes ago, our approach to not create waste and instead use all that as valuable resources in order to grow more delicious yumminess. Yeah. But what's important too is like, for example, for the first bucket system, it's like really disgusting to, to empty them. And this toilet is like using all the, all the waste, yeah. but in a way that's like comfortable. Yeah. Like, so it won't be like a disgusting yeah. toilet. It will yeah. be a nice toilet experience. Yeah. At least this is what we aim for. Yeah. Um, and nobody needs to do the shitty but job But nobody afterwards. needs to yeah. do the shitty job yeah. and it won't smell inside and yeah. it will feel nice and there's a really yeah. nice toilet seat and yeah. you have everything you need. Yeah. So this feels like, it's not finished, So, but I hope it will be like the, the perfect the nice, toilet. The nicest toilet yeah. ever. Oh look, from here you see the, the big Ooh. jackfruit over the tent. Big like, the of super nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's on the side, it's, it's, uh, it will not fall on the tent. Wow, oh, this look from here it looks really nice. It looks so nice. If we can eat the first jackfruit from the land, this will be such a special moment. Now we're gonna test the lighting setup. Sweet romantic fairy lights for every platform. Super nice, look at that. Geil. Oh, das kann ich auch heute Abend schon mal testen, wie das aussieht von da drüben. Wow. Hey. Das ist zu high. Okay, das ist zu high. Das ist zu high. Aber es ist okay, wir we digging first, because we need, if we make a load this. Yeah. This has to be low also, and then we digging again in here. So yeah, yeah. it will be same. That, that's totally fine, but the thing is, we ne really need these, like the, the screws, like even, wh why not even deeper than this? Wenn ich mir vorstelle, dass wir die Treppen so machen, dann wird es niemals das Geld dafür ausgehen. Das sieht doch scheiße aus alles. We need it on the floor. We need it on the floor. Okay. It needs to be on the floor. Because if we don't do this, Adi, we need uh, we need a railing and uh -huh. then uh, like yeah. a hand yeah. rail and then we will have yeah. way more material and this will be too dangerous for it when because it's you know like if you imagine like two year old falling onto this like yeah. this would be yeah. a real problem. We can we still can use the material, mm -hmm. but just spend more time. You're thinking about saving time, huh? Not changing the whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, probably. But we, like, like, that, that's what I thought. Like mm. when we have the first one perfect, mm -hmm. I think like then you have the perfect level for the na next ones. Quite a, quite a job. Quite Man, a challenge. Weil was diese Dichtring, der muss drauf bleiben und da muss noch mal ein bisschen. Und das geht da irgendwo rein, genau. Today is definitely a trial for the whole infrastructure. It's raining like crazy. Trying to continue with the work that can be done under the roof. Raining season. Party rainy season is on. <laughs> 